Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and let's get ready for the week ahead, June 26th to June 30th. Well, summer started this week and it felt like it. Stocks were choppy this week, day traders found the action mixed, the under $1 crowd had a great week, as you can see with the DCTH uh, chart, it was up over, uh, was up 220% under $1 name. Uh, so those, that group of traders had a great week th this week. The under $1 crowd, um, you know, a bunch of those stocks were moving this week. So if you were on the right one, you made out like a bandit. Uh, the bull market remains intact. Markets ignoring bad news at the moment. Uh, traders learning this week to play smaller, but to hold longer. As far as the SPX and the SPY go, uh, the SPY was up uh, fractionally for the week. The uh, NASDAQ composite was up 1.84%. The Qs were uh, up over 2% this week. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was up fractionally for the week. Uh, the IWM and the IWC were also up. The IWC was up uh, close to 1% and the IWM was up uh, about half a percent. Uh, as far as the IBB, which was the big winner this week, the IBB was up uh, over 10% uh, for the week, and the XBI and the XBI was up 12% uh, for the week. Uh, as far as healthcare, XLV that was up big this week, and I'll we'll show you a weekly chart of that. Uh, XLV was up uh, close to 4% for the week on the XLV. Uh, DBA, which is the agricultural ETF, uh, that was down close to 4% for the week. Um, what else? Uh, VIX did not fare well this week. There's just no volatility in the market. And the VIX was down um, close to, what, 3.5% for the week. Uh, the recent, recent low was 9.37. We closed at 10.02 on the VIX. Uh, oil was down again. Oil was down over 4%, and this is WTI. Closed here at this 43 level. USO, um, you know, the ETF for the oil was also down uh, over 4% for the week, and it's down below support on oil. Uh, the GDX was up for the week, and that's the uh, gold miners, and that was up about 3% for the week. GDXJ uh, was also up for the week, and that was up uh, close to 4% for the week on the gold junior gold miners on the GDXJ. XLF uh, was down 1% for the week on the XLF. Uh, JJC Copper was up almost 2% for the week. And let me see if there was any other markets that I wanted to show you. Uh, GBTC, the trust for the uh, Bitcoin, was up 10% uh, for the week, 9.57% on GBTC. And the other thing I want to show you was the SPY Weekly. And um, we're up here at resistance, but e we're still remaining above the 10 SMA. But even if we pulled back, I mean, down to the 50 SMA, it would be the first touch in, in quite a while. And this is the weekly chart you're looking at. And if the, the market came down to the 50 SMA on the SPY, we'd still be in an uptrend market. Okay. And, um, and like I said, it would be, you know, the first touch in a long while that we hit the 50 SMA. So even if we corrected down to here, um, it would not be the end of the world for the uh, SPY. And obviously, even on the Qs, you know, if those went down to the 50 SMA, on the Qs, which is about um, you know 124.75, we'll call it 125. Uh, so that would you know seem like a huge drop, but uh, you know uh, it would still be in an uptrend on the Qs. Uh, let me see if there was anything else as far as the markets. Uh, the TLT uh, was up this week. It was up 1.13 percent for the week, and. See, was there any other out markets that were outstanding to me? Uh, I think that's about it. Now, as far as uh, some stories this week, we had um, Senate Republicans unveil Obamacare replacement bill 
but the fate is uncertain so uh, that might be weighing on the markets and maybe the reason why the um, the healthcare uh, stocks XLV were up um, the big banks uh, passed the stress test and all 34 uh, banks passed the stress test uh, the biotech stocks were big winners this week and the reason being was that um, uh, biotechs rise after Trump's drug price risks risk seems to lessen so um, I don't know if he's gonna be going after the biotech stocks but right now the market's saying he's not and then the other big uh, sector and uh, what I want to show you was tan Donald Trump wants to add solar panels to his much anticipated uh, border wall and uh, so the tan which is the ETF TAN uh, that was up uh, almost 8% for the week on the TAN and you know the names that make that up are first solar CSIQ and I'll show you some of those names a bit later in the video um, this was a news story that um, that came out also during the week uh, Trump met with the tech CEOs and executives on drones and Internet of Things so that might have been helping the uh, tech stocks and um, the other thing that came out over the weekend Parliament was hit by a cyber attack so this might help some of the cyber stocks and the ETF for that is a uh, hack H-A-C-K and that was up uh, two percent for the week and some of the stocks that make that up are FTNT, uh, FireEye, Palo Alto Networks and uh, cyber uh, other cybersecurity names like CUDA and uh, I think that's about it as far as um, as far as uh, things that hit my eye the thing that the markets are worried most obviously is the oil price of oil uh, the other thing is this uh, inverted yield curve talk uh, a lot of videos and a lot of you know CNBC talk about the inverted yield curve uh, can there be a recession in the future uh, it seems like the 10-year uh, bond is flat and the 30-year bond is up so when the longer term bond is moving up and the 10-year and the shorter term bond uh, stay flat to down um, that could cause a recession now and uh, the Fed is in control of the shorter term uh, interest rates so uh, people are not liking the fact that this uh, curve yield curve uh, could be inverted and you know may lead to slowing down in the economy so just keep that in mind um, the other thing you know with the oil uh, the rig count came out on Friday and uh, you know uh, the climbed again as far as the rig count so uh, you know that may put further stress on the price of oil and I think that's it as far as uh, things I wanted to discuss the other thing is we'll get into some of the best and worst stocks for the week and um, I'm just going to read them off to you because there were some really good ones. And um, I'll put some of the charts up for you. But um, here's a, the, the beginning. Uh, the first best stocks for the week, AMD. All right. And uh, AMD was up 24% uh, for the week on AMD. And you know what? I'll put the charts up for you, the weekly. CSIQ uh, was up big for the week, 23%. Now, the thing I don't understand about this, though, is... I understand that CSIQ is a solar stock, but they're out of Canada and they're a Chinese company based in Canada. So how much work are they going to get on Trump's wall uh, for solar panels if they're a Canadian company, but um, based in China? So, you know, this one, I don't know if it's going to you know be a short or what, but it doesn't have the same story as like a first solar or SPWR. Um, SPWR was up 21% for the week. FSLR was also up for the week 11%. VSLR, VSLR was also up uh, almost 43% for the week. Uh, and this is a solar name. And uh, check Run. Yeah, Run was up 18% for the week. Another solar company. So some of the solars really moved this week. Uh, Pandora made a comeback this week. Uh, you know the rumors around this is pen uh, Tesla they said they're getting into the um, streaming music business Tesla and um, you know maybe Pandora is a target but anyway this stock was up 18% for the week uh, Oracle was up 13% for the week after their earnings uh, some of the biotech stocks that were up Celgene was up 10% uh, GILD was up 10% for the week 
Amgen was up 6% for the week on Amgen. And uh, some smaller stocks that were up, IDRA, this stock was up uh, 21% for the week. Uh, UEC, whoops, UEC was up 23% uh, for the week on UEC, and that's Uranium Play. Uh, let me check URRE. Uh, didn't well that was up nine percent for the week on URRE and we'll talk about that in stocks to watch RHT was up uh, 13 percent they increased guidance and they came in with good earnings on Red Hat uh, Adobe Adobe was up uh, six percent we'll call it for the week on Adobe uh, LITB was up 15 percent for the week and this is a uh, light light in light in the box and that was up 15% uh, Twitter up 11% for the week on Twitter uh, some other smaller names NK up 16% for the week DMPI up 23% for the week uh, INSY up 21% for the week uh, RWLK was up 92% for the week on RWLK uh, the other ones that were up for the week, AVEO was up 64% for the week on AVEO, Biotech's name. Uh, COOL up 52% for the week. Uh, CLVS up 58% for the week on CLVS. MBRX was up 35% for the week. Uh, QUIK uh, was up 33% for the week. Kara up 32 percent for the week imgn uh was up let's see imgn was up uh what oh imgn he tried to type uh imgn 32 percent for the week on imgn rice an oil company that was bought out was up 30 percent and wtw was up tw uh 16 percent for the week on weight watchers uh, some of the steel names were up this week. X was up 10%. AKS was up 11%. Uh, Cliffs Natural Resources up 10% uh, for the week. And Lazy Boy, who had earnings this week, was up 19%. Uh, Winnebago was up 19% for their earnings. And lastly, uh, actually not lastly, Red Hat was up 13%. SSRI uh, these are some of the silver names were uh, was up uh, 9% PAAS was up 5% AUY up 8% and um, NG which is Nova Gold Resources uh, that was up 13% okay now that's the winners as far as the worst stocks for the week dries which did another reverse split I mean this stock is just unbelievable uh, let's see uh, had Let's see if we can count these reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven reverse splits in dries and no help. Down 72% for the week on dries. NADL oil name down 29, right? 29%? Yep, 29% for the week on NADL. HK, another oil name, down 12% for the week. EXXI down 20%, another oil name. Uh, BBBY, a retailer, uh, got crushed this week, down 16%. BBRY, after their earnings, uh, down 8% for the week on BBRY. Their earnings came out Friday. MPO, uh, down 24%. WLL, down 9%. SVU, uh, this is the in the whole mess with uh, Amazon buying out um, Whole Foods Market. SVU uh, down 9% uh, for the week. Costco was down 6% uh, for the week. So now people are worried if Costco is going to get Amazon. KMDA was down 18% for the week of biotech. So not all biotech techs did great. Uh, Rig was down 6% for the week. TLRD down 11% for the week. CHK down 10% for the week. Hain Celestial, whoops, H-A-I-N, uh, this stock was down 7% uh, for the week. Uh, PLCE, Children's Place, which was running, um, also uh, gave back some gains, and they were down 11% for the week. MRO, another oil name, 
was down uh, 8% for the week. CMG was down 8% for the week. And lastly, CAT, uh, CAT, uh, you know, an infrastructure play. This was down 3% for the week on Caterpillar. So that's your best and worst stocks for the week, at least some of them. And um, so we'll go ahead and get ready for the week ahead. Just let me make sure that um, uh, I've told you everything I want to tell you about the week that passed. So some of your earnings coming up for the week ahead uh, for June 26th. Uh, before the open on Monday, we have Schnitzer Steel. Uh, symbol is SCHN. Uh, Novo Gold is after the bell on Monday, and that symbol is NG. Uh, Darden Restaurants, DRI, Tuesday uh, before the bell. And let's see what else. Fact set uh, is FDS is the symbol there. And uh, IHS market is INFO. Uh, after the close, we have uh, KB Homes and we have Camp CalAMP uh, is CAMP and AVAV report uh, after the bell on Tuesday. As far as Wednesday goes, um, we have paychecks reporting before the bell, PAYX symbol there, General Mills reporting, GIS, Monsanto reporting, MON symbol there, and let's see if there's any other big ones. Um, yeah, Shaw, Shaw Communications, SJR symbol there. Um, after the bell, we have Pier 1 Imports, PIR. Uh, Trove, T-R-O-V, I don't think that one's listed here. T-R-O-V uh, reporting after the bell on uh, Wednesday. Um, I-R-E-T, symbol is I-R-E-T. Any other big ones? Uh, Worthington is W-O-R. Um, as far as Thursday go, we have Rite Aid, R-A-D. Um, C-A-G reporting before the bell, and that's Conagra. Uh, next one reporting at, um, before the bell is WBA, which is Boots Alliance, right? Which is Walgreens, excuse me. Yeah, Walgreens Boots Alliance, WBA. Can't see it's so small there. Um, so WBA reports uh, before the bell on Thursday. Uh, is there any other major ones? No, and then after the bell, uh, Nike reports on Thursday after the bell. Micron Technology reports after the bell on um, Thursday. So, so those are two of the big ones, uh, Nike and Micron. And American Outdoor, symbol there is AOBC for American Outdoor. So, for, and then Friday, uh, no earnings for Friday. So this is going to be the big day for the semis because we have uh, Micron. Uh, reporting and then um, Nike reporting um, on Thursday after the close so that's some of your earnings coming up for the week ahead and I'll get this out of our way and your economic information for the week ahead June 26th we have uh, Fed speak uh, at 1 10 a.m. Fed speak and that's uh, John Williams who is speaking uh, Chicago Fed National Activity Index 830, Durable Goods Order 830, 1030, we have Dallas Fed, and that's pretty much it for the economic for Monday, uh, Red Book on Tuesday, uh, Case Schiller, Richmond Fed 10 o'clock, State Street Investor, uh, Fed Speak, Patrick Harker, uh, John C. Williams Speaks again at 4 a.m., and let's see, Neil Kashgari speaks at 5.30 p.m. So some Fed speak at the beginning of the week. Uh, MBA mortgage applications, pending home sales on Wednesday. Uh, petroleum oil, EIA, 10.30. Uh, as far as Fed speak Thursday, uh, James Bullard speaks. Um, we have GDP coming out at, at 8.30 on um, Thursday. In, in, uh, initial jobless claims 830 um, see if there's anything else uh, nothing and then uh, Friday at 945 uh, Chicago PMI 
Um, and then 1 p.m. we have the Baker Hughes rig count again at 1 p.m. All right, so we'll get that out of your way. So that's what's coming for the week ahead. And um, let's just look at uh, some things I wanted to mention. This is the uh, OIH. And that was down a five percent for the week on the OIH and some names in the OIH. Um, I've gone over this before. Uh, Schlumberger down four uh, percent. Halliburton also down um, for the week over six percent. Uh, Rig the stock down six uh, percent, and uh, BHI uh, was down uh, five. We'll call it six percent on BHI, and those uh, make up the some of the stocks in the OIH, the oil service ETF. Uh, the dollar this week, um, I think that was up to flat this week. Let me bring up the dollar chart. And let's see, the dollar chart was, yeah, it was up fractionally for the week. And um, if you want to see, this is the ETF for the dollar UUP. And uh, yeah, that was up fractionally for the week on the UUP. Uh, let's see if there was any other markets I wanted to take a look at. The utilities were uh, down for the week on the utilities. Uh, ROBO um, held its own this week, up almost 1%. This is the automation index. So not really giving you a chance to get in it yet. Still holding above the uh, 10 SMA. Uh, HACK, H-A-C-K, we already spoke about. Uh, JETS, the um, U.S. Global JETS ETF. Uh, was up almost 1% for the week. And I'll just take a look at some of the airline stocks with oil being down. Um, LUV, their LUV made a nice move up 3% this week. Uh, let's check JetBlue, Delta Airlines uh, was up almost 2% for the week on Delta Airlines. Uh, any other things I wanted to go over? Um, we did oil. Uh, materials mining uh, were up almost four percent the XME so let's just take a quick look at the spy chart we'll look on the daily and um, right now we're looking at this 242 we'll call it 242.50 242 level um, and you see this consolidation we've been in on the uh, daily chart on the spy we're below the uh, 10 SMA as far as the IWM, uh, we are still above the 10 SMA and uh, that 139 spot held. We're above the 50 SMA. IWC came up to the resistance. We're holding above the 10 SMA on the daily. We're above the 5 on the uh, daily for the IWC. The Q's um, bounced back over the 10, trying to get back over the 20. And the IBB on the daily, this was the one uh, we spoke about. If we could get back over 295, um, you know, we might get a move in this. And then we broke the 300. And it's been, you know, this big move up on uh, IBB. Uh, we'll go through some stocks. Let's take a look at some of the, you know, some major stocks. Uh, Apple, uh, still holding this 100 SMA on Apple. And, um, you know, trying to get back over the 13 EMA, but still below the 50. So it's kind of in this consolidation uh, phase here. Uh, so we'll see if it can, you know, remain holding this 145 level on Apple. Amgen um, had a great week this week. You see it's riding the 5 EMA on Amgen. Uh, Amazon still holding above $1,000. Uh, holding the 5 EMA, it's above the 10, above the 20. Uh, the 50 still curled up on Amazon. Uh, AV Broadcom, AVGO, uh, starting to curl up again on uh, AVGO. BABA, uh, trying to get back over this 145 level, holding the 5 EMA, holding the uh, above the 10 SMA. BAC, Bank of America, the banks, uh, that one's not faring too well, came up to this 24 level and not doing too well. Uh, XLF. Uh, pulling back, maybe coming back down to the 50 SMA on the XLF since I was looking at a bank. Uh, what else? Uh, Google uh, turning back up above the 10 SMA. Facebook uh, trying to break out over resistance again. This like 156 level. The high here was uh, 159.59. So we'll call it 156. 
and uh, trying to turn and move back up on Facebook. Uh, KBH uh, was a strong home builder this week and is trying to break up above resistance. So they have earnings coming out, don't forget. Uh, Lenore had earnings this week that passed and it's moving back down to the 50 SMA on uh, Lenore. Uh, NVIDIA, uh, this one's pulling back a little bit. We're at the 13 EMA, we're still above the 20 SMA. So maybe we want to come down and check check off this uh, 150 again on NVIDIA. So keep that one on watch. Uh, Netflix, uh, popping, turning back up, bounced off the 100 SMA, back above the 10 SMA. Uh, this 160 um, uh, resistance area is coming into play again on Netflix. So keep your eye on that. And uh, Tesla. Uh, another winner. What was Tesla up for the week? Up three percent. Another three percent on Tesla, and uh, you know it's just riding the 10 SMA and the five uh, EMA here on the uh, daily chart. Uh, X had a decent week. You see the 400 EMA SMA came into play, but it's popped up to the uh, 50 SMA, the yellow line you see right here. So we'll see what they want to do with that. Uh, some other steel names, AKS. Um, bounced off the 400 moving averages here, popped, and maybe a continuation move on AKS. Uh, another big bank, JP Morgan, trying to break out over that 88 level. So that's some of the bigger names. Uh, we went through what to expect for the week ahead as far as earnings, economic. Uh, we went through some of the winners and the losers uh, this week. Um, as far as um, any other news over the weekend, uh, let me see if there was anything for you. Uh, we had Barron's uh, mention a couple of stocks. Uh, AIZ, Barron's uh, mentions that, uh, you know, positive comments on AIZ. And then also on NCR, uh, Barron's uh, positive comments could rise 30% on uh, NCR. And we'll just take a quick look at AIZ. All right, and that's holding the 50 SMA. And then NCR, um, that daily doesn't look very good to me. Um, it's below the 50 and whatnot uh, on the weekly. Let's just check that out. It's coming down to the 50 SMA on the weekly. So that's uh, NCR, but they did get positive comments. So we'll see if Barron's can uh, move this name uh, come, you know, the uh, you know Monday or the week ahead. And let me see if there was any other information that I wanted to share with you from the weekend as far as news um, nope that's about it um, for the news all right so now you're more ready for the week ahead for June 26 to June 30th thank you for listening um, if you like this video please hit the uh, like button retweet it um, please subscribe to the channel and you can uh, get email notifications when I make a new video. I thank you for listening. Uh, the stocks to watch video will be coming out on a Sunday. So um, expect another video coming your way. Thank you so much for following. Thank you for the nice comments and greatly appreciated. Uh, more videos to come. This has been Zozo Stock Watch. Have a great rest of the weekend and don't forget that uh, stocks to watch video coming out Sunday.